financial problems. Elder law. Tax problems. Business matters. Divorce. Personal injury. Bankruptcy. Your life. Your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now, here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Jenny Wingo, good morning. Good morning, Ken. Ryan Small. Good morning. Jeffrey Kirshner, good to see you again. Great to be seen again. You are on the spot today, Jeffrey. The story today is about my back is broken, literally, and I have tax problems. So this is a Jeffrey, Jenny, Brian problem for Barry the plumber. Now, Barry, he's a master plumber. He works for Deep Dive Plumbing. He's 52 years old. Deep Dive Plumbing's motto is, we go deep if we have to. <laughs> He's married to Beth, four children, all minors. Beth is in real estate sales. She's self-employed. The bad event. Barry did not go deep. He went high. He was up on a ladder. He fell. He has a severe spinal injury. His work days are irrefutably over. He's got a horrific injury. Let me give you their finances. Barry was making a hundred grand a year. He had credit card debt of a hundred thousand dollars. He has a 401k with a hundred thousand dollars in it. Beth makes fifty thousand to a hundred thousand a year because she's in real estate sales and some years are good, some years are bad. She's got ninety thousand dollars of credit card debt she owes income taxes from 2014, 15, and 16. 20,000, 20,000, and 15,000. So she's got $55,000 of tax debt. They have a house with equity of around $15,000. Their payments, $1,500 a month. They know their income is going from what's currently somewhere between 150 and 200,000 a year, depending on how Beth does in real estate, down to Fifty to a hundred thousand, because Barry's not going to be working. So I'm going to break this down, Jeff. I'm going to come to you first, and I want you to walk us through workers' compensation, the disability for Social Security disability claim. I want to know how much money Barry will be getting, and when is he going to get it. And once we get through that, I'm going back to you two, Jenny and Brian, and I want you to tell us what are we going to do about the tax debt, the credit card debt. And how are they going to survive going forward? Now to Jeff. I want answers. I've got answers. Can Barry file and receive workers' compensation? Yes, he can. Okay. <laughs> now we're done with Jeff. <laughs> All right. Jeff. <laughs> I, want answers from I don't know what you guys are doing the next two segments. That was yes. Easy, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. What's the process? How does he go about getting? The first thing he does is the first thing he's going to do look for workers' compensation. Yes, that's because it was that, that a work-related right injury. Work -related injury and you've got an employer-employee relationship because he's working for Deep Dive. Gets injured while in the course and scope of his employment, unable to work. Wait, Clear. wait, wait, wait! I have a quick question. So yes. Barry, who owns no, he doesn't doesn't own Deep Dive. Oh, no. sorry. So Barry's just an employee. He's an employee of if Deep Dive. If Barry was the owner of Deep Dive, could he also still apply for workers' compensation? Only if he was paying on himself as an employee. That is correct. Employers typically are exempt from it. So, But if he wrote himself a, a, a paycheck and... And treated himself. Most businesses make the mistake of exempting the owners because you have the option to do so. Correct. And I say you make the mistake. They, they, they do it because they don't want to pay. The, it lowers the premium. And everybody wants to lower their costs. All right, so and, Barry, but, Barry needs insurance. workers comp. But Barry, in this case, he's an he employee. So it fits a perfect scenario. So he was making $100,000. He's never going to work again. Right. Could you just go in? What's he going to get? So with regard to his rate, he's going to max out. So there's a maximum for every year in terms of workers' compensation. It's 90% of the state average weekly wage for the year 2019, the maximum uh, unless you're a professional athlete, the maximum for 2019 is $921 per week. 
So is that what he'll get? Yeah, based on his wages, yes. He will max out $921 a week. And the nice thing about comp, if there's a nice thing, because it's not a pleasant system to be in, is it's tax-free. So $921 a Federal week tax-free. Correct. Oh, that is nice. All right, so when does he start getting that? Well, he should theoretically get it immediately, but we don't like insurance companies. Insurance companies don't typically do the right thing, which is why I have a job, which is why a lot of attorneys have a job. So wait, so so will they, they start paying them on an interim basis while you're fighting, or will they just hold all the money from you un until the matter is resolved? Well, if they start paying them, then we won't need to fight, but more times than not, insurance companies don't do the right thing. They'll dispute either the he's wait. disabled, or they'll dispute some other issue, or the work-related I, work thought, related or I thought when you're applying for workers' comp, you just fill out a form, you send in your medical records, and because you can't work, you just get the money. Only if you send them a plate of cookies, too. And then you get the money, and <laughs> I gotta tell you it's something. easy. Barry can't fill out the form, and he can't send them the records because he's laying in the hospital all strung up with a severe spinal injury. Right, so the duty is, is actually the employee to let the employer know, look, I had this fall, though the employer knows that, and I want workers' compensation. you got to put them on notice. But again, it's not necessarily up to the employer. They have... An insurance carrier that really is on the hook to pay for this. They have those so that's a step in. Correct. Just like if you're in an auto accident and you sue me because I hit you, well, I turn it over to my insurance company. Same theory in workers' comp. Every employer has to have workers' comp, and that's who. All right, so how long is it going to take to get Barry his 921 a week? What's the short? What's the long? Well, the short would be two weeks because you're not entitled to benefits until you offer two weeks or longer. So the short is, if everything is clear, two weeks. insurance yeah, company, what's the long? two weeks. The long could be 18 to 20 months, because a lot of times the insurance company is going to fight us. They're going to dispute the claim. They're going to make us go into litigation. I will well, would they argue he's temporarily injured, he's not permanently injured, so we don't have to pay as much money? Well, a couple things. They may argue the fact that he's not disabled because they'll send him to a doctor of their choice who typically gives a conservative opinion. They can't send him to a doctor. He's strung up in the hospital. Well, then they'll argue whether or not maybe he did something intentionally to cause the problem. They'll find out some he way. He jumped off just, the ladder? They'll find out, right, he did something intentionally to do it. or he Because was, he worked for deep dive diving and he thought he was on a... He a was deep on diver. A, you know, the he, they thought he was on a... What's a, at a swimming pool on a diving board and he was diving? That's correct. So they'll, they'll typically do that and they'll lead us to litigation and average How litigation, long litigation takes about 18 months or so. To In this litigate. case, is he going to win? In this case, absolutely. The facts are clear. All right, so we're, we're coming up to a break. We know he's in for 921 a week. It's going to be somewhere between two weeks and 18 months before he gets it and it's going to be tax free. We come back, let's talk about social security disability. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, 
dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fab Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so we know he's going to get 921 a week on his workers' compensation. The question is whether you then negotiate that into some kind of a lump sum payout or not, but he's good for 921. Right. What about Social Security Disability? What does he do with that? Social Security Disability, we apply right away. Uh, he meets a lot of good criteria. Mainly, he's age 52. That always helps. Once you hit age 50 or older, it makes it a little bit easier to get benefits because there's some criteria that comes into play once you hit age 50, he's which not is going back closely to work. approaching. Okay, so he's age 52, which helps us get Social Security disability for him. More times than not, though, when you apply, they typically are going to deny you at first. Okay. Plus, you got to understand. Let me make sure. Let me make sure you understand the facts here. There's only one doctor in the entire country that would be willing to raise his right hand and swear to God under oath that he thinks Barry is going back to work. The other 450,000 physicians in the world are all going to say the guy's never going back to work. Now, naturally, that one doctor is probably the doctor that's working for your workers' compensation insurance company and is probably also somehow tied into the Social Security Disability Claim. Magically. It right. always works that way. <laughs> All right, so he's got that. So, 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 how, so Social Security Disability, will they still deny him initially? Initially, they, they good chance that they will. Which that's is just sick and stupid and ridiculous. Correct, because that's what the government does. They are very conservative with regard to that. They're trying to protect their benefits. You have to be disabled for 12 months or longer, or the anticipated duration of your disability has to be 12 months or longer. So it's easy for Social Security, if it's less than the year mark, to deny you right away. This guy sounds a little bit more catastrophically injured so than it most, so it's, it's quite well possible, based on his age through. and his injuries, that it could go through with a matter of a couple months. All right, so does he get, how much would he get? In, for, whole, forgetting his workers' comp for a second, what is his Social Security disability claim worth based upon the fact he's been making $100,000 a year all these years? Well, I would estimate his uh, rate would probably be about twenty-five dollars to $2,600 a month. Okay. All right. So $921 a week or it's workers' comp, $25 to $2,800 a month Social Security disability. Well, $2,800 would be, would be the maximum. I think he would be maybe just a drop under the maximum. Okay. Well, let's, let's, so, not, let's not play with money. Right. Is there a problem, though, with can he collect both? The workers' he, comp and Social Security disability. The answer is yes and no. He can collect both, but there's going to be an offset. Social Security disability is going to take at least a, a good portion of his workers' comp because he's, he's getting income. He's getting like the same 30, period of He's time. getting thirty-six hundred dollars a month on workers' comp. Right. So does he then lose the twenty-eight hundred in Social Security? He won't disability? lose it entirely, but he'll lose a good chunk of it. What, so about how much about? I guess seventy percent of it. Oh, so he was, so he'd only get thirty percent of twenty eight hundred. So he'd only be getting a thousand dollars. So he'd have a thousand there, twenty eight thousand there, thirty six hundred coming in on workers comp. He'd have about forty six hundred. Right. Is the workers comp just like is Social Security disability just like the workers comp not taxable? No, there are some small taxes to it, but but not 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 a, not a large okay. amount. Is there a way that he can get more money out of this? More money in terms Between, of so he can maximize the twenty eight hundred on Social Security. Is that does he settle out on the workers' comp or what? It's possible, but you know, it, settlement is always a funny game. You have to look at a lot of different scenarios when you're looking to try settling out a claim. The, the most important factor of, for anything is whether or not somebody's at maximum medical improvement. You got to see whether or not somebody still needs a lot of treatment. In this case, right now he's he going to need treatment, right? Because workers' comp doesn't just uh, contemplate wage loss, it contemplates medical. And if you are go ahead and settle out your workers' compensation claim, 99 out of 100 times the insurance He's carrier need wants care. you to close out the entire claim. They want you to close out wage loss, they want you to close out voc rehab, and they want you to close out medical. So Does this, that all max at 921 a week for all those? Well, 921 just deals with the wage loss. Medical is 
Oh, so he can continue to get that. So if he needs like care, right? That that, they yeah, that, that, that. that's that's separate from the the 921 and, just deals with the wage loss. And they're going to try and get him to compromise everything. Sure, they want one lump sum to tie it in a bow. And, right. and now, tell me whether I'm right or wrong because I've seen this before. I've seen a lot of workers' comp attorneys then have a situation like Barry's, and they're getting their clients and they're recommending their clients settle, take the lump sum. And the concern is, and I've heard you raise this, and we, we were talking about it the other day at, at lunch, where they were compromising the amount of the claim because the insurance company was wagging the tail with a $200,000 offer, and you were sitting there saying, this guy's going to need 921 a week, he's only 52, he could live to 100, and he also needs care. Actually, in a scenario that you and I talked recently about, my client's actually in his 40s, and again, they're offering what looks to be a nice sum of money, uh, in that range of two hundred thousand dollars, the problem is is that it's not worth selling his case unless they're going to literally double that amount because of how young he is and he the needs, fact he really can't go back to work. You need he needs enough of a lump sum settlement that generates interest income that replaces his wages needed, and he's covering and he's got to cover his medical. So that's the second factor. So one, we look at whether or not your medical, what your, where your medical condition is, right? If you are still need treatment, a lot of therapy, a lot of expensive medications, and you have no other source to pay for it, that doesn't make sense to settle Bless for. You. It. Bless Thank you. you. The second scenario then is, does it make sense in that person's lifestyle? We have to take each case individually, talk to that people, figure out, okay, if we settle the case, where does this All leave right. you? So what it comes down to is this. We know we got 921 coming in on the workers' comp for the wage loss. His medical's covered. We have 2,800 potentially coming Social Security disability. We're going to have to evaluate whether we... Re we can settle the, the workers' comp claim in a big lump sum so that we could then capture the 2800 going forward on Social Security Disability. But if we can't, we take less Social Security Disability and we make sure we get every dollar we can out of the workers' comp carrier. Right. Fair, fair statement? Fair. Because one of the nice things about selling a claim in terms of taking into account what's going on with Social Security is we can settle your claim and protect your money from Social Security so that you can get a nice lump sum of money do with it what you want and still protect just about virtually all of your ongoing monthly right. social security. Got it. All right, so now we're going to flip over to you guys because he still has, he's going to collect probably the 921 quite quickly in his severe state with the workers' comp care. Is that a fair statement? Absolutely. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, but he's but that's not going to replace the $100,000 of income that he was making. What are you going to do about the taxes and the credit card debt? When we come back from the break, I want answers. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Time for announcements. Want to remind our viewers to listen to us for Law & Reality Live on the Praise Network, Tuesdays 10 a.m., Saturdays 7 o'clock a.m., and on KISS 105.9, Sundays at 7 a.m. Be sure and sign up for our monthly contest. Free $50 Visa gift card, Law & Reality hat, and copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Just go on the website, sign up there, you pop in your, your email address, and you're signed up. Also, if you can, go on Google and give us a review. Click on Google. You have to have a Gmail account. Review what you think of the show. We really appreciate it. And go to Facebook and uh, like us on Facebook. 
We have a seminar coming up Wednesday, June 12th, 2019, 6 to 7.30 p.m. So we have a debt relief seminar called Transforming Debt to Savings, The Smart Play. We're going to teach you and show you how you change the pattern of paying $500, $600 a month on your credit card bills and on your medical bills so that you change it so that $500, $600 starts going to your savings account for your future retirement rather than going to your creditors. It is the smart thing to do. It is attainable. All you have to do is come to the seminar, learn how to do it, and then make the right decisions. Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Jenny Lingle is going to participate and do a special segment on how to address tax issues. Sign up at thavgross.com, lawnreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. And remember, you can always come into Thav Gross and Law and Reality for a free consultation. Just go to the website and click one of the re consult requests or call our offices at any time at 888-235-HELP. You've got debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business issues, elder law issues with Pat, disability issues with Jeff, uh, criminal law issues with Corey Silverstein. Just call our offices, take advantage of, of the opportunity for a free consultation. Also, go to the website and check out our free reports. The most recent, brand new report is Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solutions, written by Jenny and myself. It has a lot of great information on how to address tax problems. Also, how to save your home from foreclosure, business formations, loans and grants for small businesses in Detroit and Michigan, and the Retiree's Guide from Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, Jeff Kirshner Law, now back to the show. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. I love you too. Bye-bye. That was Jerry. Emma just said her first word. Oh. Jerry says hello and they'll be over soon. Who's Jerry? Is he a friend of yours? No. This Jerry. Our Jerry. And this is his wife and their little girl. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Jeff, I like. He's getting me beer. He's getting 921 a week from the workers' comp carrier. Maybe we'll settle it for a big lump sum down the road if you can get them to be reasonable and not pigs like the insurance company. Sorry to say for all you insurance agents, your <laughs> your principles are. Um, and we got the workers and we got social security disability. Now you two, I want answers from you two. What about what am I going to do about the credit card debt? What am I going to do about his income right now? And what am I going to do about those taxes? Well. Obviously. I want answers. Okay. Do you think you can handle the truth? I can handle the truth. That's good. So here's what it comes down to. Barry has an urgent need to get rid of the debt as quickly as possible. Why is this? What's so urgent? He, nothing's urgent. He's strung up in the hospital. Mm, here's what's urgent. If Barry starts to receive his workers' compensation, then he may not be eligible to make his uh, for this most effective method of getting out of debt, which is a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. All right, so what does he do? We, while he's the, the interim where he's between working and making a living and receiving workers' comp, because we all know Social Security disability takes a real long time. He was working until last Friday when he fell off the ladder. Right. He's not working any longer. He's contacted Jeff. Jeff's can, working on trying to get Can I get, get a doctor's letter that says he's never going to work again? Yes. Okay. If I can get that, I can file a Chapter 7 for Barry next week. 
What about the fact that he's making $100,000 and she's making so 150000 Don't you have... Wait, you've told me about this means test, this mean right. test that they have that if you make too much money, you're not eligible for a Chapter right. 7, then you'd have to file a Chapter 13. So in this case, because Beth is making 50000 to to $100,000 a year and Barry's currently making nothing and might not get but any you money... you said you look at six months' income. You do, but we have something called an affidavit of special circumstances. When you have such a dramatic change in your circumstances, we can get around the requirements of the means test as long as Barry and Beth can pass it. Otherwise, it doesn't look egregious looking at Beth's income only. Because Barry doesn't have any So income. if we only look at Beth's income, she should, they should qualify for a Chapter 7? Yes. No equity, not a lot of equity in the no house? No equity. And here's what it's going to do. That, that Chapter 7... Does that get rid of the taxes? It's going to get rid of the credit card debt clearly. It was 190,000 of credit card debt. It's going to get rid of his credit card debt. If Beth can file bankruptcy also, if it's appropriate, in this case because she has $90,000 for the credit card debt, it is appropriate. We'll get rid of the $190,000 of the credit card debt and we'll get rid of What most about of Barry's the 401k? Taxes. Barry gets to keep his 401k. Well, what about the taxes? Well, so the IRS... He gets to keep his 100000 401k in the bankruptcy. Yes. Okay. And he gets to get rid of at least $40,000 of the income tax debt. The last year, 2016's taxes came due in 2017. Those don't become dischargeable at the earliest till three years after we they came We can't wait, due. right? And since we can't wait, we're going to be stuck with a fifteen thousand dollar tax bill, getting right, rid of one hundred and ninety thousand right, so dollars of credit 50, card debt. You, got rid, you did a good job on the credit card debt. And getting rid of forty thousand dollars of tax. But debt. you got fifteen thousand dollars worth of tax debt. Are they going to take Barry's four hundred one k for that? No. With, with that liability, the worst case scenario would be a payment plan of around one hundred and eighty dollars. We may even be able to get them into an uncollectible situation uh, due to the. Uh, job change with Barry and their current income, depending on whether Beth, Beth is closer to the 50 right. or the 100. So you got to resolve. I have to. I have to ask this question. Somebody comes up and says, and they're listening to the show, and they're watching the show, and they say, "But if he's going to get all this money from the 921 a week on his workers' comp, plus he's going to get Social Security disability, why not just pay off the credit cards as he goes, the 190,000 dollars worth of credit cards?" as he goes, make the monthly payments, and preserve his credit score. Why no. not do that? Number one, we don't need Isn't to preserve his to credit do? score. We need to preserve his future. And the money that's coming in is significantly less than was coming in when he was working. That's one. Two, at the end of the day, if you hurt your credit score by filing a bankruptcy, credit scores heal. And they will come back, and it will be as strong as ever later on down the road. Let me sum it up this way. The person who made that suggestion would only make that suggestion for one of two reasons. Number one, he works for the credit card industry and he's required to say that no matter what, even if it's his mother. Or number two, the person is insane. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with Law & Reality. Thanks for watching.